Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and I have the review, or a review, of the Lego The Batman. Batman The Penguin Chase set. This set has 392 pieces and retails for $30. Despite the part count, the price is questionable. Let's get into this. All right, and here are the only two minifigures of the set. One is the Batman, and the second is Penguin. The first Batman, you've seen him in the other review I have. Uh, well, he works out fine. He looks pretty good, although he, I think he should have had dual molded legs. That face is okay, but what really bugs me is the helmet. It just looks so weird on this one the tin can batman helmet does not work he has some rather nice torso printing and uh surface is a little bit reflective in some areas like at the top there he also comes with a batarang and uh i like how these work because i found out you can do you can do that and smack someone he also comes with an alternate head and hair piece so you can have them look like Bruce Wayne there's also an alternate face and in case you don't know what the alternate face looks like for the other Batman head looks like that up here next is the penguin he's a little bit underpowered because he only has a pistol but wait he also has this new stud shooter and it has a little buildable attachment at the end, but you take it and you fire it. It shoots just like a regular stretcher, but with a bit more power. All new prints for this penguin. All new. That's fantastic. And he also has an angry alternate face. That's pretty much it for these minifigures. There is only one build in this set, and it is this new Batmobile. Well, it's not my favorite Batmobile ever. Like, it basically just looks like a Dodge Charge, but with a giant engine slapped at the front. Some details added here and there to make it look like something that a superhero would use. I really like this. Not as good as the Tumblr, but I really like this. Questionable looking hubcaps, but there's a bunch of light blue power blast attachments not power blast but yeah just the blast pieces attachments a rather nice engine that went together well and a lot of the stickers this is a print but there are a lot of the stickers you see two there two there one up here there's a couple inside the cockpit one up here two in the front and by the way there before i get to the inside there is something I'd like to point out. You press on the hood, ah, then the the silver blast shoot out. Ah, yeah, be careful, be careful where you grab this. I have lost these a couple of times, but I found them later. Please be careful or leave them out entirely. Personally, I just keep them in there, otherwise I will lose them anyway. But just be careful. Also, I don't like that yellow sticking out of that should not be there for the underside of the vehicle it's tan and black Eh, i went i don't want the tan there but take a look on the inside it's got some nice stuff there's a steering wheel lots of details the stickers in there actually look nice you got seats for two minifigures so let's see you gotta bend batman back a little bit before sliding him in there and you just kind of gotta maneuver him around and behind him is actually a place where you could put bat gear such as a batarang if it actually wants to go in there let's see can I actually get in there yep okay goes in there yay then you gotta lean batman back and you're good to go and like i said be be very careful with the hood you can also take these Low blast accessories out. And it's pretty good. Pre works pretty well. Let me take these out and then I will show you what the vehicle looks like without them. 
Still looks rather nice, a little bit less flashy, but it's rather good. Also, this is a printed drum lacquered piece, and that is a drum lacquered stud right there. I like that. Also, a couple of Harry Potter wands are used here to give a little bit of extra detail. I really like that. Overall, a nice car, plays well, just not the most interesting thing. All right, for the spare pieces, well, you got an extra battering, an extra of this drum lacquered printed piece. Is that even supposed to be there? I'm not sure, but I got an extra one. And there's also this weird superhero flying piece in gray, as well as a flower piece in gray. There is, well, slight bluish gray. It's one of these things. Uh, one of these pieces that goes into the new stud shooter thing. Another drum lacquered stud, a printed speedometer. There's an extra stud for a penguin stud shooter. There are some extra power blasts. I guess you could use those with the vehicle. And there are some extra spring load shooter bolts. You will need those, trust me. You will need those. You might lose those spring load shooter bolts no matter what you do. But that's about it. The instruction manual really has nothing much to offer other than some ads for the other Batman sets. So... Is this set worth $30? And the simple answer to that, I think most people will agree, is no. I like this set. I like it a lot. It's a really good vehicle. Kids need a Batmobile. You got this on the market. Right there. It's not too expensive. I love the box art for this set. I like the minifigures. They needed to make a new cowl. Preferably a new head and give them dual molded legs. This is a very special interpretation of Batman, I think. And I think he needs to be treated as such by giving him some dual molded legs, getting the cow right. But as for the car, while I like it a lot, it just doesn't scream Batmobile to me. I, well, I think that it will catch kids' attention when they go to the Lego aisle, but it's only because of the sharp red and black used on the box that will catch anyone's eye. But even with 392 pieces, a ton of them are small. I felt like I was building something that was $30, but I realized it was only because there was an excessive amount of small pieces going into this, especially around the hood area. Very much built up with small pieces to move around these spring load shooters but anyways it's not worth $30 please wait 20 to 25 at the most would be good for this but it's just a car I guess if they added a C street corner or something that would have made it felt more worth it but anyway guys tell me what you think do you completely disagree that's fine just please be respectful and remember like comment subscribe Get the bell notifications on, and happy Veterans Day. That's why I have school off today. Bye.